Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be making a Minor Figures review. So if you don't know Minor Figures, basically it is a company that um, sources oat milk and also they do really fun coffee things. So chai latte, mocha, they also do, I think, latte as well. I did message them personally on my personal account and I asked them about like doing a collaboration and sponsoring me however they weren't able to however they did actually contact me back which I'm so grateful for and I think that's such a good thing and a good opportunity but I'm still going to do this video because I love their coffee and I know they have good reviews and I'm just going to try it out for you guys because I think this is a brand that needs to be really not really big but needs to be utilized because it's vegan it's at the resource in the UK, it's local, it's not bad, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the videos. I'm going to be going to Holland and Barrett. Um, Holland and Barrett is just over the road, so I'm gonna get stuff. Hey guys, so I'm back from my shopping trip. So basically, I bought my obviously I got myself a mocha nitro cold brew. I got myself a nitro cold brew latte, and I also got them. I got their minor figures oat milk. So it looks good. So they all haven't been opened. So let's try them. So I'm going to try. Um, the cold brew latte. Um, I did try it, but obviously I didn't film it, so I'm gonna try it again. I think this is like too much coffee for now. But yeah, so yeah, let's try. Mmm. It tastes like how I would normally make my latte. Definitely good oat milk. Sweet, but not too sweet. It's bitter as well, obviously it's Arabic coffee, so it's strong, but it's not too strong, it tastes good. I would say this is like a 7 out of 10. I'm going to try the Mocha Nitro, so I'm going to open it like this. It also has Arabic coffee as well. Um, oh, it's fizzy. Well, okay. I don't want to like over like do that. It smells sweet. I'm gonna put it in here. I have washed this out so it's not contaminated. Oh, it looks different. Definitely it's got the mocha in it, so it's cocoa. So let's try. Definitely sweeter. Definitely. It tastes really good actually. It's it still tastes it like it has oat milk in it, which I really really like. I like to still taste some oat milk or like the milk in it. Not because I want a different taste, it's just because you know it actually has oat milk in it and it's healthy and it's good. I rate this like a 7.5 mocha. So the next one is the oat milk. I think I'm going to shake it just because you shake normally your milk, especially if it's plant milk or... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use a different cup so it shows... And here we go. Ooh. Let me try. Definitely OT, obviously. It's oat milk, but yeah. Nice. This is actually really nice. It's like not too sweet, but it's not too bland or something. It's definitely got the right sweetness to it. Yeah, out of the oat milks that I've definitely tried, this by far has to be the best one. By far. It just tastes good and like, it's ethically sourced, locally, um, it's in London, it's based in London. If you go on the actual store, so the actual store, um, if I just show you, it's like this. I don't know if you can see that. So on the store, it basically says, Dairy isn't a requirement for good coffee anymore. We aren't a milk company. So unlike the alt other alternative milks, we aren't trying to replicate dairy. So you've got like oat milk and you have organic oat milk. I'm not sure which is the difference, but 
whatever. Um, there's like two pound difference. I forgot, I don't know, they haven't told me anything about the difference. They also go through um, the environmental impacts of different milks. That's why, even though I've emphasized that it's ethically sourced, it has actually shown um, people of the public how big of impact it is. So it's got the water usage, um, emissions as well. Um, oat is still very little. Environmental impact of different milks, the land use, oat is still one of the smallest. They also talk about oat milk sustainability. Besides the best non-dairy milk for coffee, oat milk has proven to be one of the most sustainable and eco-friendly plant milks. Try their milk. See, this is, um, you know, local as well. Like, it's in London. I know this where I'm at the moment, it isn't really local, but technically it is local and it's sourced in the UK, which is literally, literally a really good thing. Um, so, I'm gonna look at the coffee and chai. So when I, I went to Holland and Barrett and bought these, I actually have been on the company website and I did order something. You do get 10% off when you sign up. So I'll definitely share a link below. Um, but these in Holland and Barrett, they're 199. They're 200 milliliters. Um, they also do, so they do the latte, they do the black coffee, so just pure black. Um, they also do mocha, which I've tried and they do a chai latte. They also do espresso coffee and they do filtered coffee. So they use whole bean and grounded uh, bean. They also do bundles. So one bundle that I did get, coffee beans, oat milk and nitro cold. I got that because it was cheaper and I got a discount as well from them. So I was super happy. Right now they're doing a 30% off all of their coffee beans and their filtered coffee, coffee roast roasters. They're like eight pound fifty. One's ten pounds. Yeah, eight ninety nine. Like they're very fairly cheap. Like I know that like Starbucks and other companies, they are like twelve fifteen pounds, which you do not want. Like you do not want to be wasting your money on this. And it's so good. I love their product. They have merchandise. So their merchandise, which I'm gonna put up like on the screen, but they have um, they have socks, which um, look so cool. Quack quack socks, twisted fingers, a Penelope t-shirt long sleeve. They have a short sleeve, they have a beanie, they have a limited edition oat milk glass bottle. So you can actually store it instead of having it like this, much effective. They also have a glass and cork so if you want to make fresh coffee, you can and put it in there. They have merch and their merch is really cool, which I'm going to like link down their merch as well. Um, I'm going to link their Instagram as well because they deserve so much support, I think. Um, I think people are supporting them, but my friends I've talked to, they do not know about the company. I know about the company because I've seen them and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should give it a try. I love coffee. Um, I would love to own a coffee company and help the world, you know, like communities and help them in growing their own coffee and learning about coffee and being effective on coffee and being like really sustainable. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this like review. I hope you guys have a good week and have a good weekend. Um, I will be seeing you soon. If you have any video suggestions, please comment down below, please like, please subscribe, please, please, please. All the support helps to the end goal. Um, I'm at 91 subscribers right now, but if you can subscribe, then that would be super helpful. So yeah, um, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.